did you miss us? Did you did did ever? Because it's seven thirty. I it's seven thirty on Thursday, and that's late. I I know that's late, but we were over here talking about war games. So we would hope that everybody watching would understand that sometimes when you get war gamers in a room, they're gonna talk about war games whether they have other things they should be doing or not. Um, hi, and welcome to the Thursday Night Throwdown. It's a pleasure to be with all of you. Uh, such as, what, I have a, what? I can pin a, oh, I can pin a message to the top of the chat. I'm going to do that tonight. Somebody's message is going to get pinned. To, I'm going to pin the very best message to the top of the chat. Whoever does it. Um, tonight, it's a little weird because we had some people coming and going and things. I have to tweet, though, first. Uh, tweet, tweet. That's me. Squeaky, squeak. <laughs> we have guns too, so that'll be good. And good deal. There we are. Uh, a while ago now, it's hard to admit, but a while ago now, I I wanted to set up a game of LaSalle to sort of show people how the game plays to get away from all the advanced stuff that we've been doing with lots of soldiers and play one of the introductory scenarios. So what I did is I grabbed this one, um, which is the very first game uh, called Les Avant-Garde, a balanced scenario from the rule book. Uh, and I adopted it for the Peninsular War just because it's one of the periods that I like. I know Dalinar is nuts about it, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I decided to do that. And so I, I figured I would, you know, I would do this. And consequentially, we put this together. It's small. But we've got three players tonight that are going to have a go at it. Uh, on one side, we have uh, Dalinor, who is playing the French. Good evening, my friend. Living the France. There it is. There it is. And uh, on the other side, I assume, Achilles, do you want to join Ron on the French or do you want to play some allies? Oh, um, I'll see. Where would I be most useful? Where can I do the most right. damage? Um, <laughs> that's entirely up to you. Um, okay, I'll play French. Looks right, like they got more guys on the field. Yeah, they, they do too. They've got three. Well, both sides have three brigades. It's a balanced scenario. Well, Mike, it's you over here on the Allied side then. This is Mike OJ's dad. Good evening. Good. Uh, evening. Uh, unless you're going to feel lonely, Mike, in which case. I can I can play on your side. That's fine. I'm used to being lonely. <laughs> okay. The uh, <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty sad. <laughs> this is this is a speculative scenario. I work from home by myself. <laughs> <laughs> so he said it though. I'm used to being lonely. <laughs> wow. In the lies, in the, don't talk to me about life. <laughs> life. In the opening days of a campaign, the opposing armies have sent their advance guards forward to seize the crucial junction at the towns of Stromfall and Niederkreuz. Well, we're going to imagine them having Spanish names. The opposing avant-garde commanders arrive more or less simultaneously and have to secure the junction. Um, that river that you see at the bottom, that's impassable. I'm sure you would have figured that out. There are three objectives, the center of the bridge, and one in each of the two towns. Uh, all are in... Uh, all are, so there they are, they're one point each, and they all belong to the British at the start of the game. So it's uh, just the, the way that particular cookie crumbles. This is a 10 turn game, and sudden death is one third. So there is a sudden death way to, if you kill enough guys, that, that's an ending. Um, we have alternating setup, starting with red, but the thing is, this uses random entry. And I don't know if even Ron, who has actually played some of this scenario before, remembers. But this is a thing in LaSalle, which is one of my favorite rule sets. Uh, random entry. At least one third of your brigades must start in your reinforcement area. For example, oh, yeah. you, know, you must would have to start, if you have four brigades, you have to start two. If you start any brigades reinforcement, there must be they must be reserve brigades if you have any. Otherwise, you may choose. The first step in a status phase is for each player to roll for the entry of brigades currently in the, the uh, reinforcement area. The side that issues the turn's final order, final order, 
must roll first and place his reinforcements if they arrive before the other does. You choose the brigade that you want to bring on. You roll a number of dice equal to the current turn. If any of the dice roll six, then that reinforcement has arrived. Okay. That isn't too hard. We're obviously going to play with advanced skirmishing and with huzzah, which we know all about. Where do you set up? Good question. Let's have a look. I think it's pretty easy to figure out where, but you're going to have to take at least one of those brigades and put them off into your reserves. Um, you see where you're supposed to be placed. There is a... Uh, oh, and your baggage for red is to be in A1. Or B1. You gotta put your baggage in one of those two. And the blue, folks, must be in A6, B6, or C6. And forgive me, yeah, it's, a, it's A1 or B1 is this one. Yeah. So it looks like you've chosen... But you'll both have to take one of those brigades and take it off the map. It'll have to be a reinforcement. Now, I do believe that we don't actually have a reinforcement brigade. So you can pick any one you want. But uh, whichever one you uh, don't want, you have to pull it off and put it on your uh, table over here. I assume, Ron, you're going to take one of the infantry brigades off, but, right? No. No? No. Oh, dear. You don't, you don't want the cavalry on? No, and there's a reason for that. Okay. Have you seen his dice rolling with French cavalry? <laughs> that is entirely No, weird. that's not the reason, but oh, that's very good. No, I understand. That's the reason. no it's not. Okay. It's not the reason, but it is a reason. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Niederkreuz is now Cruzado Hacia Abayo. There we go. Try and say that three times fast. <laughs> I've not, I'm, I barely said it. I didn't say it once. You know, I apologize. What are the objectives of the battle here? Here, I'll mark them out for you. Look. This. It's, things it's that, the two, this. The two towns and the bridge. Out. Two towns and a right. bridge. There's another bridge on there, too, but it doesn't matter. So, have you each chosen your brigade that's going to park? I have. I have. All right. Which one do you? Which one See, is yours, Ron? Over here. Oh, you put it over there. Excellent. And Mike, have you taken yours off? Yes, they're already over off to the side. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. In that instance, uh, we return to the next part, which is setup. Alternating setup. Red goes first. What does alternating setup mean? Deploy a brigade. And then the other side deploys a brigade. So red, Mike, did you deploy a brigade? Is that where they're going to be? Uh, no, I haven't deployed. Uh, Kelly, take these guys. Sure. These are yours, right? Okay. Uh, you want to? You want to put in the chat what you want me to do with them? <laughs> Fight. A thing. Okay. Well, there you go. I can do that. I, did, I thought you might have like what, some particular what is, location you wanted me to go What for. is your plan? To beat the French. <laughs> to beat the French. Oh, right. what the heck just happened? My you plan is to try to get back in the game, yeah. <laughs> well. I like it. Well, Tommy, hell. Tommy, Tommy is <laughs> translating our uh, our city names. I should name them that. I really should. And the, uh, the movement chart here for formation is accurate, right, for mm -hmm. this table? It is. Thank you. It is indeed. Remembering that those are base width, so it's two inches each. Okay. 
See, I go to type and I get kicked out. See, I was set up, Achilles. <laughs> well, first, Achilles is pick a team. If I did my awesome mistake and put it in public chat. Well, you you always pick the same thing, so I'm just going to choose that. Really? I did choose something different this time. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Figures. Oh, man. Hold on, just stay there. Wow, oh this coronation is going off with a hitch, huh? Uh, see, there is, this there is, is why Na there is a distinct Napoleon lack said. of Panther tanks. That's right, because we haven't been able to get hold of CT. Like Napoleon said, I'd rather fight allies than be one. There you have it. <laughs> it's just too confusing. <laughs> Message sent CT. Uh, he said CT, and I just Aha, said CT. Not my oh my god. Time. Achilles. Yes. Not my fault. Send him a message. Okay. Sure. Okay. I can do that. All right. You're all set? Yes. All right. French, you can see that these fellows are in column. Look at that. Give him a unit. Deploy it. Is this where your baggage is, Ron? Yes, sir. Just locking that. Well, she's downstairs, really, but... hey -oh! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't watch these, does she? <laughs> oh, heck no. She's watching her ghost stories right now. I'll have to pay her... I'll, I'm going to stop by here in a few months when I'm in southern New Jersey and have to meet the missus. <laughs> Take her out for a nice uh, drink and dinner and have a nice chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'd love it. Uh, well, here. No, they do not have to. <laughs> uh, Red Sax is asking, don't they have to do, don't they have to do jump off points? <laughs> Uh, that would be an interesting twist. That would be. Try that in Napoleonic Warfare. Well, actually, you, you need those. They have them in sharp practice. See? They've thought of everything. Except a proper definition for fifth generation warfare, which nobody seems is, to understand. <laughs> is this river crossable outside the bridge? Uh, this one here? Yes, it's a complication. Okay. Deep six. Pump house. Thank you, man. All set. He's back. He's back in the <laughs> chat. Uh, okay, so you did this, okay. you did that brigade right there. All right, Mike, right. give us a second brigade, please. All right. Oops, Stanley is excited about the coming of Major League Baseball. Hmm. Me too. I, I, I about, love eh. yeah, we gotta see about getting that fantasy league going for uh for the dragoons. USFL <laughs> I'm in. I am Jersey <clears throat> plays on the twelfth. Jersey Generals. Who uh My my teams are usually out of it by oh Week two. May. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm always excited about opening day. <laughs> I think the Toledo Mud Hens only had like 100 tickets available for opening day next week. Mm -hmm. We were saying yesterday. Oh, Ron. Do you need to put that horse artillery over there with all the cavalry? Doesn't that belong to his brigade? There is a horse artillery over here. There's one sitting on the back of the table, too. No, yeah. that's, what it's, that's what it's deployed. When in See, La, in it's LaSalle, over here, when, Limber. In LaSalle, when things on Limber, that's how oh, it's Oh, yes, 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 my fault. This Sorry. is deployed, and it's deployed over here. Okay. Oh, look, look at you. 
Look at you using your et sans, et sans resultat words. Floyd and deployed, yes. Yes. <laughs> Look at you. <sighs> all the intellectuals around here. <laughs> hey, that's the only intellectual thing you're going to hear from me all night, so don't worry about it. <laughs> pretty, pretty soon. No, there will not be an AVRE to the best of our knowledge. <laughs> Let me tell you about somebody who's sick to death about seeing AVREs. How you doing, Mike? <laughs> I'm done deploying. He's done. You want to give him the last one there, French people? Hey, this guy's crossed the line. Get him back over the line. How is he? I zoomed in does, too far. Didn't. Yeah, does it matter? That's does it matter which of these boxes I deploy in? Sure in already? In no, as long as you're in the blue box, you're fine. Okay. Cool. And I was like, with you, man. I know you were. I just hadn't paid. I just wasn't paying that close attention. It feels like forever since we played. You missed one yeah. week, and and it's like keep having to work. The whole schedule gets all screwed up. Like next week, my whole schedule is gonna be. I'll bring my computer. I don't care if I'm out at dinner. I'm probably gonna play next week. <laughs> uh, I'll be in uh, Florida next week. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be two states lower than me. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm working. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, my work's kind of little. They forgot all about me going on vacation. And we got <laughs> six. There's only five of us now in our construction side. We have one. We have seven houses that have to be roughed and three that have finishes that are coming up in the next week. <laughs> and now there's only four of them. Ouch. Yeah. That sounds like us at work. And there's no one that's applying and... Everybody's applying. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's hard to get plumbers. It's hard to get anybody to work. No, oh, that's too. They, they keep talking. It, it, it's weird. They keep talking about these politicians. Oh, we're going to bring more manufacturing jobs. It's like, okay, you got 800,000 manufacturing jobs open right now. and can't get filled. Who's going <laughs> to work all these jobs that you want to bring? Create. I know, right? Yeah, I've been running rag. That's another reason why I wasn't able to join the 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 bowl thing. I've been run running so ragged that I've been really tired at night. Like I'll watch the game like on Wednesday for like a half hour, and I'm falling asleep watching you guys play. Well, Jim, today was Jim, actually an easy day for me. Jim could attest. There's been a couple of times over the last year or so that I've uh, had to call it an early night just for that whole reason, right? Yep. Okay. All set. I think so. Yeah. All right. Turning off the. Turning the green on. It's so pretty. Now it's so pretty. <laughs> now it's a table. All right, let's go to war, as it were. Uh, it's turn one, so that's good. Did I put these? Oh, no, there they are. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I see your guys all the way over there. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we uh, remember that the status phase, where we check and see how many of those guys might come on, that's at the end. That's at the end. So we begin with the momentum phase. Away we go. Uh, there's how many brigades? You got two each, so you each get two mo. I'll mark it over here for Dalinar. Thank you. Uh, you both have your baggage, so you go to four. No ADCs. General. General. I imagine you're both going to use your generals. Yes, sir. All yes. right. 1d6 divided in half. Oh, my dice fell off the table. And I'm starting good. Yeah, one and a two. <laughs> Mike, you get a two. Ron, you get a one. Am I on Ron's side there? There I am. All right, and now the biggest thing of all, the skirmishing phase. Well, this, I didn't bring out the counters because it's pretty simple, isn't it? We look over here, and we know that all these crazy French are threes. So that's one. But they are in they columns. Don't... They're in columns. Yes. None of that counts. I think everybody's in column. Is everybody? Yep. I'm I, I'm suddenly horrified. Yeah, yeah. The, whole, the whole force is in column. You know what? After I did the columns and doing this, and I said we're ready, then I realized, oh my god, I just lost the initiative. Yeah, well, it all uh, <laughs> that there is a. Uh, there is HR practice campaign. It's all done. In fact, uh, Chronologist has bought 
troops for it. To tell you the whole, to tell you the truth. Um, well, that's a fascinating bit of business. <laughs> this is, I assume, just going to come down to a die roll, but it's. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we never. I don't think we've ever had this situation. Here we go. Yep, it's just 1d6. And that's just for <laughs> initiative. You don't get to pass out any of the, uh, the freebie stuffs. So it's 1d6 to determine who goes first. Got it. All right. There you go. And it should begins with the French. What you gonna do? You got a big, mighty five mo. Well, I am gonna use a mo for movement. All right. Let me move the mo. <laughs> move the mo. <laughs> Pay your mo. <laughs> the foot march. Do, 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 do. And that's times two, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Base width, sure. Yeah. So column moves, column infantry would be 10, 10 inches? If it's a five. Right. You said if it's a five? Yeah, it is a five. I'm just I'm I'm giving him grief as much as I is it March is a ten. Yeah, column of March is ten. So that's twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to dig back into my notes. So I've got my little chart, my little notes chart here. Yeah, let's let us remember that LaSalle <laughs> is all about Move, move really, really fast uh, until you come in contact with the enemy. Which is eight inches. Correct. Okay, now we can use another mo for your movement. Yay! <laughs> um, question: I I can't remember this. Was it? Uh, are they allowed to oblique a little, or do do they have to go completely straight ahead? You can go any way you like. Oh, cool! I love it. I love that kind of freedom you give me, Jim. <laughs> well, that's Sam. That's <laughs> Professor Sam Mustafa. That's he gives you the freedom. Um, the the hill is is that a complication? It's not a complication. Okay. So this would be twenty then. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hang out there. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you rubber band them. Yeah. You just have like to do that, that at least once a remote in penalty minute. for for dropping your toys <laughs> for being an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that that that's a five mo bonus for being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a catch up pedal. If that was so, I would get it every time. And that one, I'm assuming. Oh, there it is. Where's the? 
Did it fall off the table somewhere? Yep. Yeah, almost certainly. Is now I do have to. I do have to stop at the town. Oh, you I can't do not. If you enter the town, oh, it's, I don't. A, it's a complication. Oh, okay. And is complication it complication is... in March column? That's an excellent question. It may not be. I didn't think it was. Yeah, yeah you may well be right. This is the only chart that Stan didn't stand. Sam didn't do the best job with. There's a very simple chart with complications on it. Let's see. Uh, uh, penetration. That would be look up artillery. It's a difficult terrain. Yeah. Artillery is 10 also, so it's 20. Interesting. Where is that? Deep six, yes. Sam did both this and in Rommel. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe not. Maybe We've done a couple of Rommel over here. Ourselves. I think I want to cover that center part. Well, I got this one here. All right. And you're probably going to have these guys coming at you. Through that, but I'm going to have... Okay. Oh, all right. As you say. As you say, Monk. I remember, you can always prolong it. Okay. It's all going to be prolonged. <laughs> the suffering, particularly. <laughs> All right, Mike, did you put that on the bridge? Nope. Uh, yeah, a unit in March column is not, is not a difficult terrain. So. Okay. Wait. All right, who puts okay. Old Cheney on the bridge? <laughs> One me. <laughs> that's, that's Cincinnatus. <laughs> he's, he's waiting for yeah. you. Cincinnatus. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, he, he's deployed wrong. He can only be opposite French cavalry. Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cincinnati. That's why Ron kept him off the board. <laughs> He's Cincinnatovitz. <laughs> there you go, Cincinnatovitz. <laughs> I was just waiting to see how long it took you to find him. <laughs> yeah, I'm like looking over here at him, and then I noticed, wait a minute, what's this on the bridge? Uh -huh. I, I even took a long way around the table. I went like clear out and around the table with him. <laughs> okay, so these guys all move. These guys move. So that's all three of your brigades, yeah. right? Yes, two, sir. Oh, two. All right. two of You're our right. brigades. Yeah, all two. So you paid those three, points. Sir. Anything, anything else you wish to do? Yes. Formation change. All right. That's a global. Absolutely. That means we can both do it. It does. <laughs> it, that's exactly what that means. That's right. Oh, okay. gun is deployed. Oh. So now in this one, you do go into square to garrison the town, right? You don't go into square. Once you're in the town, and remember, once you're a garrison in this game, you can't leave. Right. But what you do is you set yourself up so that you're within about an inch of each edge, and you are just you do face out in a square-like manner, but you're supposed okay. to kind of do that. Yeah, it's like put yourself facing this way. Because you're only going to get fire out of one face. You know, right. one, one, you're not going to be able to combine. Okay. You, you're supposed to clearly indicate that you are garrisoning the town. So those guys, the first of the 51st is there for the duration. Or until they get ejected. Okay. Very good. Yep. All right, so those guys are in line. Those guys have deployed. You paid a point for that. Anything else? Ah, I see more formation changes. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just busy putting these guys into their formation, so... Mm -hmm. And the uh, artillery on limber is a formation change? Absolutely. All right. Uh, question. Mm -hmm. Okay. To unlimber, though, you just, you just put the gun in front of the horse, exactly. right? Exactly. And so that should put it, because that is, uh, hopefully, and it is my intent, should put it on the uh, crest. Yeah, that's fine. Remember, okay. it's military crest, so you're well past it. Okay. 
doesn't matter which of these I use, right? Oh, yeah, I guess it does because yeah, they're they match. name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just put it there and I'll move it. Oh, yeah, I took the horse one by accident. Out of curiosity, it. this horse artillery. No, that was accident. Okay. Okay. It was this one I was supposed to grab. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, you Mike, put, you you're move, about, you're about to can you your move other the gun. other one for me? You're about to put the other gun in a swamp. There you go, Ron. Why'd you, why'd you put those guys in the swamp? Who did? I yeah, Ron. Oh, I must <laughs> uh, bring grip in them still. Yeah, Ron. Why'd you do that? Right there. These guys are lost in a swamp. I've gotten lost in a swamp before. <laughs> Haven't we all? <laughs> That's what I see whenever I look up New Jersey. Oh. 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 Wow. And it's marsh. Burn. But to be fair, though, they, they probably charge you five dollars to get into the swamp. True, or out of Jersey and into the swamp. Mm -hmm. Rodents of unusual size. <laughs> and this is a mass formation. Is that correct? It is. That is correct. That is. Yepper. Oh. All right, there we go. All right, that should be all of mine. All right, so that's another point down. You got two left. Is that what you got, Ron? Yeah, I got two left. Um, they don't have ranges on this. I forgot. What are the cannons' ranges? Was <clears throat> it like twenty-four or something? Like that? They don't have the range. Are you sure? Um, let me see. Look at my notes here. Look at that. Yeah, you have these notes. I guess it does. I'm just what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking at the moving stuff. Yeah, that's the one thing he skipped on this too. Was the not, yeah. not like Luca where he had it. He didn't have it on this. That's interesting. Oh, great! I have a I have a column written as ranges with nothing in the column. Perfect. Well, there's volleys, <laughs> which are eight inches. We know those are volleys, and then we also have our artillery, which is uh, when bombarding. It traces a base width two two wide and up to twenty four base widths long, or forty eight inches. Oh, I knew something was twenty four. Well, oh, that's a lot. It is. There's shots all over the place. And these are the bouncy rules. Oh, yes. And, and what's That's the range? The, ones, of, huh? the musket range? Eight. Eight. Okay. All right. I'm going to use another point for bombard. All right. You should never have gotten rid of the stick. And the stick. That's for Shaco. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was going to say that. Yeah, Where does this good. one go? All right. If you want to trace the other side with me, do 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 do. Yeah. Give me yours again, though. I gotta see who it hits first. I'm assuming that, sure. that infantry. Yeah. yeah. So that is going to be because we look at the firepower and we see that it is four and it says who hit is a four, but. But, 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 that unit is in column, which, if memory serves, is a shift up. Yep. So that's going to be four for three? I believe so. Four for three. All of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, let's see if you can get those to... Uh, so that's going to be four up here. So now this here is going to be four for six. Yeah, getting a stick is another thing. Mm. And this is four for six. One. So it's four and one. Uh, this one here, this is four for fours. One for four on the back unit on the twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. All right. That's that gun. This gun. 
Your turn. Awesome. Where do you want to go? Um, well, let's see. It looks like uh, if I can shoot at that uh, that group, it would be awesome. Now, to let you know, Achilles, this won't Ooh. bounce because it's I got a hill. Yeah. Well, that would be the same no matter which of these I go. No, for. but so, I'm just saying. I'm just saying you know. That's all. No. Yeah. No, I'd rather shoot at the Gordon Highlanders because they're scary. Yes, they are. At the black As opposed watch. to the at the Black Watch, but you know, forty hey. second Highland. Well, you got yeah, you know, forty second. You got the freaking Gordon. I mean, no matter right. what, take your, it's scary. Take your pick. <laughs> exactly. So give me the width on this, please. The other one. Anyway, I hate what the British say. The rapid fire. Mm -hmm. So somebody wants to give me the other side of that base, please. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah, you thought you were doing that. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to get the... You're only going to hit one because it doesn't bounce through. Tragic, but... Which one do you want to hit? You want to you hit the Gordons? Yeah, the Gordons. All right. So they are in column, and you're a four, I imagine. Shouldn't they be wearing yellow jackets? No, they should not. Those are the Gordon fishermen. Oh, I thought that's what we were fighting again. <laughs> You're gonna wish. <laughs> no, I know, get over right? there. Uh, I think I, I I think he needs to have a chat with JD. <laughs> Four for three. So. <laughs> okay. My dice roller needs to be somewhere else. Okay. Hit. And and uh, <laughs> one for four. All right, I'm moving that thing. All right, one for four. Mm -hmm. Got it. There you go. Okay. Mike, I am passing to you. You're on, Mike. All right. <laughs> uh, Be right back. Go ahead and use two points to move both brigades. Oh. Just make sure you don't do anything interrupty, because otherwise you can't. But... Right. How far do I have to be for them to, or how close? Eight do I have inches. To be for them? Yeah. Well, I can't get. Well, yeah, I guess I could, but basically the bridge. Yeah. Oh, with a twenty-inch move, yeah, you could. No, because twenty inches only going to get me to the crossroads. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. Not even quite to the crossroads. You can face however you like, Mike. Just make sure you keep below the 20 inches. Yeah. <laughs> the French have horse drawn AVREs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they pronounce it differently. I'm sorry, Jim, how far does <laughs> does the artillery go? Twenty. That's also twenty. It is twenty also. In French the E is silent in A V R E. Gonna get a drink. I'll be back in two seconds.
All right, that's both my moves. All right. Then I'm going to spend a point to do a formation change. Yes. <clears throat> yes, very wise, Mike. Very wise. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, Jim gets. I do. I do. I get upset. You're right. I, that wasn't the word I was going to use, but that work. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a weird day. No better way to deal with that than to line up some British guys and have them shoot at some French guys. Uh, there you go. It is always kind of relaxing, somewhat comforting. Greatest of stakes or no stakes at all. <laughs> Which is well, you precisely gotta keep, why you got to keep one guy in. You got to everybody's got to stay kind of in touch, Mike. So what you can do that'll work. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just putting one here, and then the other two were going off to the left. Okay, is that's that fine. That, that's fine. Okay. You got to guide off. You got to guide off one base. Is the point. Well, I just moved the flag bearer to the right is, yeah. is all I did, because he was here to begin with. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get your yep. sense of... I, uh, I appreciate that. Proprietary. Mm -hmm. What is it they say, Jim, about uh, <clears throat> academic arguments? The reason they're so intense is precisely because the stakes are so small. Exactly. Exactly. The guns go up there where the horses were, correct? Correct. I just got tornado warnings on my phone. Oh, dear. Really? I've had high winds all day. In fact, yeah, my I just wife, that side and it was like, was, holy cow, the wind's heavy. Due to heavy winds, my the school my wife's at, they lost power starting at quarter till one because they were trying to repair lines. You know, if this, if this place ever had a tornado, they would really be in trouble because the only civil defense warning th thing they have is for tsunamis. Uh -huh. So if that were to go off, it would confuse the hell out of everybody. Everybody running for higher ground and a tornado just comes right through. Uh, to be it's... fair, though, most of us wouldn't know it until after it was through because... The nearest siren we have is in town, which is about three miles away as the crow flies. Mm -hmm. And with the winds coming, if the winds are at your back, you oh, probably yeah, wouldn't hear the heard. sirens going off. Yeah. I don't Okay. In, I'm in doing Texas, my formation. Actually, I'm not going to put that artillery into them limbered for now. Right. In Texas, we used to hear them. They would go off about twice a week during certain times of the year because you get those kinds of storms. Yeah. My wife woke up to get ready for work this morning. There's a two-hour school delay because a police officer about 10 miles away got killed on the interstate while they were pursuing three guys, and those guys were on the run still. They had a large area pretty well locked down for quite a while this morning. All right. So what you doing? I guess I get to shooty shoot now with my. You want to fire a volley or a, not a volley, a bombardment? Bombard. Yep. Got one, one shot, one. Uh, obviously in range, yep. and it's gonna go where? Right here. Let's see. Uh, let's try it against his artillery. Well, I need us. I get one, one for six, right? Well, no, no. Or does he got to go? Oh I gotta, no, I, he... I got I to take a look at that. Yep. Well, you're gonna need if it's too close, it. then we'll go for the Yeah, against three. artillery, it's six. It's 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 still the same number of dice, Mike, but getting it to stick is what's hard. Right. Oh, that's what it is, yeah. So it's so you want to go against the gun? Uh... Come on, Mike. Never waste ammo on counter battery. And it'll bounce. It'll hit those guys, too. Yeah, let's ah. try the gun once. All right. Uh, so to hit the gun, 
you're looking at uh, bah, 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 three for fours. Two. Two hits. Two for sixes. Missed. And then uh, three for, for sixes. One. One hit, and then one for four. Missed. No, nothing. All right. And that's, I think, all I've got. Oh, can I rally? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, that's one uh, point. Who took here? Yeah, it's one point. It was uh, the 79. It's one point per force. Um, yeah. But I think these are the only guys that sustained losses, right? Uh, No, the 28th took one hit oh. also, I think. Oh, no, Somebody took, took it. They both took two. The 28th and the 79th both took two. Yeah. Well, Why take, does the 28th uh, have two permanent, though? They shouldn't be permanent yet, right? Oh, shoot. These guys have... Why do these guys have wounds? Doggone it. The ninety six, the ninety second got hit by my artillery. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was sense. the 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 seventy ninth was the only one that Rod hit, and then the ninety second. Yeah, the these guys hit. back here, the twenty eighth okay, should sure. be full. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. They All took right. the hit, but it didn't stick. Right. Yeah. So the seventy ninth foot is is that the one you hit, Ron? Yes. For two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I look at the 32nd foot, and they've got nothing good. Then the 92nd Gordon Highlanders, they're the ones that took the one. Yep. The, the 42nd, the Black Watch, they got nothing good. Okay, everything else right. is normal. All right, so with that done, uh, you want to do a rally, you said, Mike, over here on the yes. 79th foot? Yep, both of them. Two, two rolls for the 79th. Uh, yeah, it's, well, it's actually two. Yeah, it's, you have to. It's, uh, it's, two dice. it's two dice for fours. And we see how the night's going to go. Uh, I take it back, or is it a three? It's a, it's a three, isn't it? Oh. Uh, I think I got one back. I think you're going to get one of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because of resilience. Yeah, you're, not, you're. Well, no, because you're not within range. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, not near enemy is three plus. So, yeah, that's. And the resilient lets it no matter where it is. So, yeah, he gets on a three plus. So his current strength is five, but he's got one permanent. Got it? Yep. And we might as well try and get the one back from the Highlanders. That's uh, one. That's then one. Got it, I think. Yeah, you did. They're resilient. Andrew. That's all my points. Ron, anything else you wanted to do before end of turn? Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do. I didn't think so either. Uh, okay. Well, then whoever gave the last order, which is Mike, has to check first. Um, <clears throat> you roll one die, you need a six to bring on your brigade. Nope. Same with the French. Negative. Nothing there. We go to turn two. Now we got the uh, same basic deal. Right, two brigades. Yeah, skirmishers so now. <laughs> two, oh yeah, two got uh, so that's two brigades, two each. Um, then we got the baggage, so that's four each. You both gonna use your? I assume you'll use your general for uh, mo, so that's one die each. Oh. So that's uh, three for the French. Well done. And one for me. All right, and now it is skirmish time. So there's a bunch of skirmish points out here. The French are threes. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. These guys do not count. Eighteen, twenty-one. I guess I suppose I should make another die roller. What do you think? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm going to give you another die roller so you can keep a lower number, too. Let's check you out, sharp. Mike. You've got, got you've got 12. some interesting numbers. You've got three there. Six. Nine. No, they're in column. Oh, yeah, thank you. Three, six. I've got I should have twelve. Nine twelve. Yep. Let me give you another die roller. Alright. 
And as uh, you well know, you are you all put it farther onto the board than that. You're looking yeah. for you're looking for sixes. Two. <laughs> Twenty one, one dice and you got two sixes. Ah, <laughs> uh, but there's only one. Uh, only one. So you get one him. you get one skirmisher run. I don't even want to touch them. They're all Pachania. I got no no no. You got skirmishers right here. Ah, they're skirmies. That's right, the Opachania's Huzaz. I made you nice skirmies. Nice. Hey, what's up with the ninety fifth rifles, by the way? What about them? They're over here off the side of the board. I or do they do they come on at some point? Are they part of my reinforcements? They are attached. Huh. They they and this these guns are attached to either brigade. Oh. Oh, and I got. Reserve artillery over here. Yeah. All right. Well, I tell you what we do here. Real simple. Ron, move your reserve artillery on. Go ahead. Now do I move them like I would move yeah, them last just, turn? Just, just move them, yeah. Yeah, that's all I got is the reserve artillery. Yeah, that's that's all you got. He's got Mike's got these guys. He's got these ninety fifth rifles. So Mike, put them in the formation you want. Oh, that's just sick. <laughs> and you're gonna have to bring them on. As you're gonna have to march them on, just like they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I'm just getting them lined up here to begin with. And this foot gun. Put it right here. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yeah. I don't think you're that far forward, though. No, no, no. I, I, I was just trying to get the units lined up to begin with. I think there was probably somewhere back around here. I got, I'll just turn it on real quick. Give him a move. Are you are you so you're not attaching them to a force? They're gonna be by themselves. Um they would that be considered a separate brigade? <clears throat> they can brigade they can be by themselves or you can brigade them with one of the brigades. Okay. But if they're by themselves, that's another move to exactly. move. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Same with the gun. Yeah, I was gonna attach them here to to pack. To pack. Okay. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Put them there. Put them in line. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, Mike's doing that. We know what's going on. Um, French have seven mo, and they have the skirmish phase. Did you put your skirmy down? Yes, I did. Over here. Who got it? They got it. Okay. Give it to the black. Ah, the black watch has the skirmies. All right. Then the French probably not up. the first time. <laughs> probably not the first time. All right. If you want to use a mo to move some of your guys there, uh, Achilles. Sure. Daniel, <laughs> I can do that. There you go. I spent the mo. <laughs> Right. Mr. Sharp, quit dilly dallying on the side of the board. Okay, in line it's uh, yeah, it crashes eight down to eight. Yep. yep.
And the mass is 12. Mass is at 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let's try to avoid that. Okay. 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 Um, to um, uh, change for change facing or or wheel would cost me an extra, right? It's it's no, it doesn't cost you any extra. I I just it's a you talk about complication. What are you talking about doing? Uh, I want to put this. I want to take the first battalion, nineteenth line, and uh, change their angle so that they're angled towards my name, essentially. Their firing angle. Well, they're not going to be able to. Where are they going to fit? Well, that's that's the next question. I mean, because those two, yeah, they don't. You know, that's double their width. Or they're they're that's half the width of them in line. Okay. Um, would they be able to? How much? Is that too much? Too, that's not enough either, is it? No. Okay. Well, never mind then. <laughs> I guess they'll stay where they are. You can prolong this if you wanted to. It goes like two inches prolong. I kind of want to keep it up on the gun uh, on the hill. No, no, there. that's fine. No, I'm just letting you know. Yeah. No, I think I'll just keep them where they are at the moment for the moment. All right. They're not a not a bad reserve there. So those guys are here. Those guys are here. Okay, so that's done. All right. Nobody moved within eight inches, so uh, Ron. I'm going to use another mode to move my units. All Alrighty, that's done. I'm going to use a mo for formation change. Alright. So if there's any guys you want to change formation, you can. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Haz. There were even 10 viewers. We only got four likes. We had 10 viewers. Where'd they all go? <laughs> are these people <laughs> this is what we wonder oh, well half the time it's me yeah. <laughs> so you done french people uh down formation change yeah are you done uh Achilles? um yeah, does it, uh, well, hold on one second. Does it matter which of the battalions I I form behind? No. Okay. Then I will move these guys. I know Jim is going to be upset if I don't put this guy in the right place. Put the flag in the right place. Yeah. yeah. If not, he'll put me in the right place. That's right. <laughs> I'll just start spawning English guys. They have enough. Rifles and 
sharp skies over here. Okay. All right. All right. Next, Mo. Bombard. All right. Start here on the left, I guess. All right, you're going to get yep. overlap. Right there. So it's... Uh, up front at the 92nd, it's four for three, yeah? Four for four. And Nico, does it have to be, uh, it's bowling alley, so it's straight ahead? No, is that no, right? he can angle it. He could go this way. Oh, I was thinking, yeah, because that back group is in a column. Will oh, that yeah, matter? Yeah, you know what? It doesn't no, matter. The column doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It's, always, oh, okay. it's always sixes after the first hit. Okay. So which way you want to go, Ron? Uh, straight at these two, one and two. One of the things I should always remember: What does heavy artillery do? Uh, it's negates cover. Yeah, that's right. Hurts people. <laughs> does it get that penalty for the I saved? They were in town or something. Heavy artillery bombard ignores cover. That's it. Yep. And then if it's volleying, it rerolls a one. So you're just gonna go straight ahead and pick up the ninety second and the thirty second. Yep. Heavy artillery is four for four. All of them. Four oh, for six. Nice. Look at you. So wow. up in the front, you got uh, four for four. Oh! Who, who are you and what did you do? Yeah, with I was going to say, what happened <laughs> to Talador? I told you I missed you guys in like this last two weeks. So, you know what? You got to bring it, it in. Saved it up a little bit. Uh, yeah. This is two for four in the back. I'll take that bombardment. Okay. All right. Now these guys here. Well, go that's, and that's honestly where I should be doing. I should be doing the right thing, which I'm not doing. What's that? I, I should be setting up the markers as we go. Oh. Uh, because these get rolled in the aggregate. I don't know as it matters, but you're supposed to. So I'm going to be good because that's what Sam would want. You going that way? Yeah, so I'll hit this one four, and four, that four. one. Four, four, four up front. Three. Four, four, six in the back. One. No other guns? This gun. Fired at the 95th Rifles. Not Sharp and Harper. <laughs> Sorry, uh, afraid four, so, man. Four for four. Nice. Oh. All right, well, we'll work Now making it stick's the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back the over next here. one's the one that matters. <laughs> Run, uh, three for fours. Wrecking stuff, Ooh. Ron. Wrecking it. That you hit him for two? Yeah. Oh, they are shaken. That's rather dramatic. Let me get the uh The Gordons. Now they're gonna wish they were fishermen. Yeah. <laughs> and one for four on the Inniskillings. <clears throat> Some there that could call me more than Colonel, eh? <laughs> oh. Nice. And now for you to check, uh, this is Achilles four for five. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, not bad. Beats the odds. Yeah. Tell you the whole truth. Nice job, Achilles. Thank you, sir. You were firing a lot better, even better. So. All right, some bombardment. All right. We'll hand this one off to Mike. All right, Mike. Back at you. All right. I'll use one point for movement on the 
skämt. Um, can you, do, that's, you can't do that, right? Yeah, you, you can, but that's a complication. Right, that's fine. I'll take the complication. And uh, you're also going to have to show me... Yeah, and you've got you've to gotta do it in, in legs. So just shoot it out right. here. Because if you shoot it straight left, get them clear of this. You'll just pay the one point for this. And then okay. how much movement you got left? You got 20 left. So yeah, you did, stop there. Let it go. You got 10 left. And now you got 10 forward, which is fine. You got more. You got 10.4 forward. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that's going to be a bigger problem. Well, it's only eight, right? It's right. But the, the point edges. is, right. so when you get there to that point, you've got two inches left. Well, yeah. So so go back. Uh, so to this point to, here. Do I see where he is right now? Once you hit that spot, you've got two more inches. So you can go six. Right. Okay, you got two more inches from there. Interrupt. <laughs> Not yet, you don't. I know. Ah, <laughs> oh, what are you bringing the minis over here for? Give me uh, eight inches, Ron. Yep, no problem. Basically, the edge, almost the edge, a little bit past the edge of the road. Yeah, just lagging here real quick. It was taking a minute. There we go. So, I can go all the way up here to. Interrupting, sir? Yes, sir. I am interrupting. <clears throat> that was two points that I needed to take off, right? Correct. Here. Got it. What you doing to interrupt? Volley fire. So this guy's going to shoot one for four, I assume. Yeah. One for four over here. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy can't shoot these guys? No, he can't see them. Okay, just make sure. Yeah. Okay, anyway, you were saying? You can't shoot into a garrison anyway. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, that's... No, you yeah, can you shoot can. into a garrison. Yeah. But, yeah, you can. Yeah, what's the, but I think it's only once he's garrisoned. I'm going to check line of sight. I don't think those we ever had this happen. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, because he's not fully into town to garrison anyway. Obstructing terrain. All gonna have to go to thirteen, aren't we? Because that's where we find out all the truth about towns in chapter thirteen. Yes, they are obstructing terrain. Okay. So this is what, six over here to them? Yep. Six for four. Five. Dang, Ron. <laughs> okay. I think that's it? Yeah, I think that's it. 
So now I got to roll six. Six for force? Six for force. Four. Look at that. Ron's taking out right? years of frustration on these guys. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how many did you hit, Ron? Four? Four. Yeah. They should be shaken. Yep. But not stirred. Mm -hmm. The puny British. <laughs> All right, that's the whole shot. Mike, back to you. If you wish to interrupt. Sure. <laughs> Michael interrupt us. <laughs> Can the seventy ninth shoot? Sure. Okay. We'll try to rally them first. Well, no, we're within eight inches. Yeah, so if you rally them in the face of the enemy. You're going to turn it right back over to him. Yep. I'm going to turn it over to him either way, so it doesn't really matter too much. Well, it, it does, though, because he'll be able... Well, that's true. He won't be able to shoot those same guys. Yeah, he's already shot already. Yeah, that's true. So, might as well try to rally him first. All right. Now, they are, in the, they are resilient, which is nasty from Ron's perspective. Uh, so, there's four total wounds there. So, four dice for threes. This is for the 79th foot. Three. Nice. So two are now permanent. Strength is four. And back over. To, are they no longer shaken then? Correct. Uh, these guys are not camped. Oh, that's pack. Yep. So yep. back to yeah, back to the French. There's nothing you can do right now, Achilles, right? No. Nobody's in range. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Keep going, Mike. Pass back to you. All right. We'll do a volley fire. All right. So let's see who's got this. These guys are he rapid does. fire also. Yep. He does. Yeah. Does he? I got the little edge of the bridge is blocking me there. <laughs> yeah, right. The only guy that can't fire is this guy. So okay. th these four guys, that's eight. Uh, eight for fours on these guys. This is where we see the regiment start melting away. <laughs> uh, one, two, two, three, five. four, five. And then an additional on the end, we said one, two, three, so that's another six for fours. That's good. Seven for fours. Three. Three. Tiny bit below. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's the only people that can volley. All right. Back to you, Ron. But it is back to the French, yeah. Mm, good right now. Keep going, Mike. All right. We might as well uh, bombard. All right. What do you got? That guy? Yep. Yeah, going this way. Yep. He's in. Six. Is that right? I don't know why I said six. Uh, three for four. Right here. One. Okay. Three for six. One. one. So one for four at the front. Bucket. Yeah. And one for four. One for four at the back. Missed it. Yeah. All right. It's still your turn. And this, this foot artillery over here. Oh. Yeah. He, can he shoot into the town? Mm -hmm. Sure. But it's the penalty, right? Yep. Yeah. I believe so. This is one of these things. Target has cover. Yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and try it anyways. So that's uh, three for fives. Three. 
Two. And now two for fours. Duck one. That's it. I'm done. Out of points. Out of points. Out of points. Ra Rally. Where's that? The dudes at the bridge. Uh, in the face of the enemy, so... I know. Three for threes. Or fours. Three for fours. Ah, one. Okay. Is Rally global or no? No, it's force. No. That's oh, force, okay. How many points have we got left? One more. Ah. Why? What do you want to do? Oh, I didn't have anything in particular. I was just wondering. Well, we I mean, at. I've we've all moved. We've fired. That was good fire. We're all bombarded. But you know what? Do you want to try to rally that one point in this one, just to do it? Yeah, I could. I could either try that one or the one that's in the town. Well, if it's a force, then that's the whole. That's your whole yeah, force. Yeah, you can do both. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Outside first? Yeah. Okay. One for four. Three. You're not in the prison to the enemy. Oh. Missed. Permanent. That's sad. And also okay. one for three. Oh, oh my oh goodness. Oh, man. <laughs> Dalinor, stop it. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. That's all the points. Very good. Let's check for reinforcements. Um, yeah, the last order was given by the French, so they will roll first. Two dice. You need a six. Yes. There you got it. The nice. Comes on. What are the rules about bringing in brigades, you ask? I know you would ask that. <laughs> Jim, what are the rules for bringing on brigades? No kidding, right? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to know, what what are the rules about bringing in brigades? <laughs> I would like to know. Like, like, really? Uh, <laughs> Being in California too long. The, uh, <laughs> wow. The, um... <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, you, re you place them anywhere in your initial area. They must be placed within eight inches of the outside edge, anywhere within your setup area. They do not move. You just place them there. For what it's worth, they, oh, they must be placed in March formation. Mike, two dice for you. Okay, so he give me eight inches here. Yeah. Look at you. You can bring your guys on. Oops. That's actually that's point two too three. far, but on any of the table edge? No. The setup no. area. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it could be But the you. outside edge, yeah. Eight inches from the outside edge. Right. Ooh, green felt. Now it looks like we're playing in high school. <laughs> on the AstroTurf. <laughs> now we're playing on Dad's pool table. That is the color <laughs> of my pool table. Okie dokie. OJ, you all set? Yep. All right. Yes, I am. There's just some... And, and just so you realize... Well, these guys, they got to be in March column, OJ. Oh. Apologies. Mm -hmm. Those are some stupid good horse. You 
you can take advantage of your high skilled has tools. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's right. Was it one, two, three? Four. Four? Mm -hmm. See, it doesn't let us do that. It doesn't? Because we don't have that option with our with our rights. That's weird. <laughs> We're being oppressed. There you go. <laughs> I got some march columns. That is a lot of horsies. Okay, they're on. Horses are on. Very good. The cheeses. The cheeses and the cheesemongers. The cheesemongers and the blues, the blue cheesemongers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the lifeguard 6-2 resolve 5. Yeah, that's what I think. <clears throat> Turn 3. Momentum. We start out with uh, brigades on the table. Well, now it's three each. Three each. Everybody's got their baggage, so that takes it to five. I'm assuming you're both going to want to use your generals for Mo, so hit that one die. Two for me. Two for you. One for the French. Now let's buzz around a little bit and see what you got. I don't think you're going to see 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, 21 still. And I'm still at 12. And you're still at 12, including, did you count your 95th rifles? There you don't have skirmishers. Yeah, they do. Sure they do. 3, really? 6, 9, 12, oh. 15. 15. You got 15, Mike. 15. So uh, 21 to 15. Hit it. All of two. Two and two. And I got two. Roll it off. Same dice again? Just one die. Just one? Because mm -hmm. nobody gets the benefit of the skirmisher. Three. Oh, or keep the initiative. French. What's canister range? Six or eight? Eight. eight. Yeah. I'm going to have to start with volley fire. Oh, mercy. Yeah. That's going to look ugly. That's including the cannons. Yep. Uh, these? Yep. It's 7.8 inches. Oh. Mercy sakes. How about that one? 7.7. 7. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll get my toys out. Is that right? It is. Yay. Um, but, uh, well, we got... We can start this one here. Just the one. Yep. One for four. And six for four. Quite as much. And then you've got an artillery shot, a canister range. Oh, why can't I? A canister run? doubles the dice. Yeah, that's what it does. So it's same to hit, just doubles the dice. Eight for four. Five. 
Yep. And another and this... for four. Ten. Or four more, I should say. So it's nine, actually. Yeah, it's five more. Okay. Yeah, it's five. Yeah. That is ten. Start over here. Four for four. Shake. And this is ten for four. Four. Shake some. Mike, you may interrupt. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. We'll try to rally your camp. Start here with the 79th foot. And... So that's going to be four for three. Two. Is it four or two? He's got a current He's strength two. of two. Oh, yeah, it's two. You're right. It's two for three. Got them both. Second foot, it's five. All right, take another look. Thirty second foot, yep, five for three. Three. Got to keep those okay, daggers away. Run over to you. Yeah, we're interrupting. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do now? Um, do one bombard, the one cannon. Okay, with the uh, Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. That's me. With Achilles gone over at the. Uh, <clears throat> up Can I there. shoot at those cavalry? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Forty eight inches and uh, so I mean it's gotta who does it hit first? That's the real question. Either the cheesemongers or the King's Dragoon Guard. It's gonna hit all <laughs> it's it's the only question is who takes the So it's gonna hit them all. This guy and then this guy, this guy, this guy will all be the same. So Four dice for threes on the front group. Whoa. All right. And then everything else is four for six. Four for six. Oh, wow. Yeah. Four Oops. for six. I crashed out. I knew somebody had left. Four for six. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just noticed it. No problem. Right. The two front got smacked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see if they stick. Cheesemongers, four for five. Nice. Like by the time I get back in, it'll be over anyways. <laughs> two? Two. That's a lot. And three for five. One. Still not bad. All right, that was a bombard. Yeah, it was a bombard. <laughs> all right. Um, do you need to move up at all, Achilles? Or are you good with? Do you need um, to move? When we get a chance, I am going to move the uh, first battalion, nineteenth line, over here. Do it. Now they should be able to... Uh... Yes, the stream is fordable. The river at the bottom is not. 
they should be able to change their Those angle now. Guys right? in... Oh, that's a good question. Uh, that not... has actually asked a good question. Do you get bounced through downhill? I don't think you do. Which is only going to affect the one. Uh, bombardment. Bombardment starts. Bombardment. Flight strike bounce. Yeah. Anytime it's different, there's no bounce. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, but you hit the one pretty hard, yeah. so that's good. Yeah, hit the, the other one was only hard. one, so. <laughs> Thank you, Haz. Uh, question about yeah. bringing on reinforcements. The way reinforcements work with variable reinforcements, which is what this scenario calls for, you roll a dot, you pick a brigade. In this case, they only had one each. You pick a brigade <clears throat> that's in reserve. You roll as many <laughs> dice as it is that turn. So turn four, you roll four dice. You need one six to get your uh, reinforcement. So uh, what are the French doing? Uh, we just did it. And it was the one brigade. That was a formation change or a move? Move. No, just a move. All right. Just a move for him. And now I'm spending two moves. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Two points. Or two, two points. Because I'm going to move. Got it. Two inches, two, unless you're charging. Oh, I'm charging. Okay. I remember charging in straight ahead. So you turn. He said nearly certain of what he's about to say. Yeah, and I'm only asking this because of the last time we played this. Don't you have to, you can't just go wide across the bridge, can you? You can if, there, if you aren't guarding it. Okay. What defines guarding? You'd have to be at the <laughs> other end of it. Are you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't do that, Ron. He's there. you got to go one wide across that bridge. you got to form into column and cross the bridge. Unless, if you want to take the bridge, otherwise you got to take the complication for not coming over the bridge. I thought I just did, that's why I spent the two for, the, for a complication. Oh, did you? Okay, then it's fine. Yeah, yeah then it's, then... <laughs> Yeah, because the only time a bridge matters the other way is where it's, yeah, it's you, you turn forty five degrees and go straight ahead. You don't. Yeah, then what? And when they hit, they conform, don't they? <clears throat> I got birds. Hello? <laughs> I'm looking here. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I the, think he's looking up something. Yeah, I, sorry. Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, because no, like, no, you uh, do not conform. You do not. I conform. don't. No, no. You stop. You stop at the moment of contact. And it's straight ahead. There you go. So yeah, that's one for the one for the move, two for the attack column, three for the complication. So that's three mo for that. And you cannot charge him. And you can't move that far because you're within eight inches. Has a stoked. He killed a dragon in D and D tonight, and he's given rules advice for LaSalle. Booyah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Has is having a big night. Alrighty. All right, that's got it. Uh, obviously, we have melee six, six. No, current strength four. 
versus four. Any modifiers? I don't I can't think of any. No outnumber, no defending strong position, no difficult terrain, no poor. Do I get to volley? Attempt to no, volley you're, first? You're thinking of Shaco. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I was thinking that too, Mike. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I guess what I'm trying to think, though, is if these guys fired their artillery, didn't I get an interrupt? No, bombards do not. Uh, that these guys, yeah, you did get an interrupt. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because yeah, he's volleyed. Because that's they the, didn't the volley you got. This guy was a bombard, so you don't get an interrupt. Which you that. don't get on the bombard. Right. Okay, that's right. what I was asking. Okay, right. and you, and you used the interrupt to uh, to rally, I think. Yes. No, no, I did. No, no right. Yeah. I know what I used the interrupt for. I was just okay. So, no, but that's a that's an excellent question. All right, so now we are we are both going to roll our dice. Uh, no, that's that's not it at all. There we are. Um, and it is a, yeah, this is, yeah, it's 1d6 plus 4 both ways. Eight. To eight. eight. Defender first, outscored, tied or greater, no effect. Attacker still engaged, one disrupt and stagger. would say repulsed at that point repulsed right in front of a bunch of angry guys who do rapid fire oh i know you i know. thought that's <laughs> the only way to strike it fire once but he rallied and then i charged because i knew i was gonna get hit with rapid fire anyway <laughs> all right so that's done that's done mike it's up to you all right i'm gonna do a formation change to start right. with mm -hmm. so these guys I'm going to put into mass okay just looks like that correct mm -hmm. will, will that trigger an interrupt it will mm -hmm. okay you know you can garrison from there Mike if you wanted to yeah we might as well garrison then mm -hmm. you have to have that one works. base inside the town looks like this right mm -hmm. one each way keep them close to the edge it's not a square yeah. yep now he can shoot at you sort of all right and that's all i wanted to do with the formation change Back right. to Ron. French. Back to the French. Is there something you need to do, uh, Achilles? No, sir. Do you want to bring those horse up? Yeah, I can use them. I'll use the last mode to move the horse up. The very last is Mo. Hey, Doug. <laughs> so has killed a dragon today, Volker. In D&D. &D. Well, tell us about him. What dragon did you kill? It was a gold dragon. It was not it was a gold a dragon. Baby, He's it not was a little baby ever. dragon that was trying to hatch out of its egg, and he <laughs> killed it. It was a wyvern. He killed a wyvern. Don't lie. Green Turned it into an omelet. <laughs> Wave of Rancheros. <laughs> okay, Mike, up to you. All right. Let's 
start with a volley fire. Oh boy. <laughs> Is this artillery? Yep. Participate in that? Uh, uh, it's gonna have a half a base. Show me that. Yeah. Is that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll do it. Then this hang guy on, can. Hang on a second. Because you have to have nobody under that bombardment. Ah, uh, it's a tool, rectangular, starts beyond, thank you, thank you. B, they should have kept the idea of the stick. <laughs> yeah, you may not bombard, you have to volley, I knew that. Yeah, but... It's interesting. They have very different rules, Shaco and LaSalle, for how you adjudicate line of sight. Um, mandatory targets, we know about that. Volley triggers interrupt. Good night, John. You take care now, John. Yeah, Doug, it, it probably does taste like chicken. Ah. <laughs> Can you feed a village with a dead dragon? The big dragon or a small village? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you, by the time you mix it in with some vegetables and... Let me tell you. Make a, make a nice stew out of it. If that's a if that dragon goes down in China, they will find a way to feed an entire village with that dragon. <laughs> they will waste nothing. Or in South Louisiana. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, you can hit that. Okay, that's gonna be a hit. So, uh, let's go to work. These guys over here in town. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be two dice. For uh, two dice for fours. Missed. And this guy. How about him? Yep. Two dice for four. Missed. Nope. Uh, <clears throat> six dice for fours. Two. Wow. A little rough there. And now this sucker. One, two, three, four. Eight dice for fours. Before. That's better. Who else? Who do we figure? Uh, those guys went there. Ooh, it's a tougher angle now. Yeah, I don't think it's anybody. How about over here? Across the bridge, though. Yep. For sure. So, that guy, that so definitely guy. these two against these How two. How about that guy? Yep. How about this guy? What, what about here? Oh, yeah. It's got to go right there. So, uh, one, two, would these, three. Would, would, would these two go against the artillery and the right two go against uh, the uh, yeah, infantry? Yeah, that's, that's right. Four for okay. four here. One. Four for four. Two. Start back at the beginning. Six for four. Criminy. One. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Mike, I don't know <laughs> what to tell you, man. The only, thing I, the, only, the only thing I could tell you that's happy is you did stagger them. You dodged a lot of bullets there, Ron. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Got that guy. Now two that for new six. camo pattern worked really well. <laughs> two for six on the end. Got them both. No, no six. Sorry, sorry. All right, volley fire. That was back over to the French. We are at a mo. Back over to the Allies. 
We'll try to rally Pack. He's got two guys to 95th and the Gordon Highlanders to try to They're rally. Be close enough, are they? They are not. Oh, okay. They're not close no. enough to be a force, so who do you want it to be? It'll be the Highlanders then. Oh, uh, wait, though. Hang on. Uh, this is all Pack. Never mind. Never mind. This is fine. So, okay. yeah. So, uh, do, 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 after do, the Highlanders? They are resilient, so this is five for threes. All Got them all. There you go. There's at least a little something. And two for the 95th. They're not resilient, though, are they? It doesn't matter. They're not close to the enemy. So three okay. still count. So you got them both back. Well, yep. you may not have done much damage, but you got them both back. Right. All right. All right. We're going to move uh, Somerset's Cavalry. All right. We got to complicate it, so that'll be two points. And that's 24 inches they can move, correct? Mm -hmm. I'm going to stagger these guys no, back you a got, little bit. But you so gotta, you're going to have to back I, them up a good chunk because, remember, at 8 inches, you only got oh, 2. Oh, crud. I don't know why I totally forgot that. Can you measure off 8 inches from there, guys? Yes. Oh, there you go. So you got two more inches from that spot. I'm doing it this way because I want a formation change. Got it. I'm just trying to... These guys could scoot up just a little bit, though, and still be able to formation change into, into line, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, dang it. Actually, is there such thing as a line for horse? I thought it was just mass. Yeah, or right. You, yeah, it's mass. You can't... Yeah. yeah. Well, there's that optional rule for a line. Oh, okay. I was just looking at the chart here. Yeah, but you're right. There, there is no... In their basic rules, which, yeah. which is what... We, we've not played that optional rule. You're right. I just wasn't looking at it. I knew... Yeah. Thanks, Ron. No, I was, I was just trying yeah. to make sure you knew that you could make the big chunk square blocks. Yeah. And then I'm going to use my last point here to formation change these guys. Got it. Did you use two points to move these guys? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Yep. You gotta remember, Ron, I hadn't done hardly anything this whole oh, time. Oh, no, no, no. No, I, I didn't hear how many more you were spending. That's what I was asking. Oh, yeah. No, I, I spent two to get across the river. I know you had a lot more than I did, so. That's well, I didn't have a whole lot more. I just hadn't had a chance to spend it. <coughs> That's all. Oh, uh, okay. But he also did have two more points. Right. Which in a game with only three brigades is a big deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's no, not going to fit. Gonna... Yeah. All right. I'm done. All righty. Well, we will say one last turn then for tonight. Yeah, one last one. Nobody to bring on. So this is now turn four. Got uh, brigades on the table, three each. We've got our baggage, so five for each. Everybody's going to use their general. Roll it. Actually, I am not using my general. 
Oh, you're gonna do a thing? Do you do you need you need, you need me to make a general? Yeah, I'm doing a. You're gonna do the intervention for a formation change. Yep. Okay, so Mike, you get three additional mo. Yep, got it. All right. Well, I gotta put down then a uh, a marker. I suppose I will use a opal Ha ha ha! But the intervention phase isn't yet. So the first thing we have to do is adjudicate the skirmish phase. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, so do I use the it's general or not? Twenty-one. You do the. That's in the intervention phase. Oh, when's which, the intervention which is phase? After the skirmish phase. Oh, okay. You interrupted my counting. Uh, I'm we sorry. should still be at. We should still be at twenty-one. I think. Three, six. Yeah. 9, 12, 15, wait, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, accurate. Mike, I think you've gone down one, haven't you? I don't think so. Because you put these guys into garrison. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, yes. Nine, oh, no, because they weren't, 12, they, they were uh... in column. Yeah, they were, yeah. yeah. So it's 21 to 15 again. 21 to 15. <clears throat> You've got a few. That time. Oh. Three. You did, I, I see you winning by three. Is that right, Ron? You had six. Yep. yep. So first, yes. hand out three skirmies. Those are huzzahs. Oh, dang it. I forgot the scurvies are over here. Oh, my God. I touched ugly Opachenia. There. That'll work. <laughs> yeah. Can't put them on cavalry. Because that guy comes from there. That guy comes from there. And where's your third one? Can you put, guy can you put on guys in garrison? See why not. You just gotta be able to get to them. I don't know. <clears throat> Let me take a up I'm taking a quick check. <sighs> do, 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 do. It's actually after. It's before. The, here we go. Advanced skirmishing. Enemy foot unit to which you can draw a line. Yeah, that's fine. You may do so. All right. So those guys got skirmies too. All right, now you do your intervention with the Opal Cheney. Where does he go? Just remember, that's where your general is. Yeah, I know. You can get him killed. I know. Okay. <laughs> So that's going to be for these guys, these guys, these guys. I so thought, oh, yeah. If, it's, everybody in a, it's everybody in a radius. Right. If I want if I want to do the, have yeah, a formation it's, change. It's this, it's this group. Oh, here. okay. I thought it was only on a, like a unit for formation. All no, right, no. I'll, put them right, I'll put them right here then. All right. So I could do the formation change? Yep. Emergency formation change. Great. Dress the lines. The general's watching. <laughs> no, the emperor is watching. Yep. Get the titles right. The emperor isn't here. All righty. <laughs> is that what you wanted to do? Yep. Ron is always the emperor. <laughs> it's, it's true. All right, so the general has to hang there for the rest of the turn. Um, yeah. Like a penguin. Like a target. <laughs> uh, French go. All right. Uh, doing movement. Mm -hmm. Spending two. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ron. St what? Uh, <laughs> hey, well, 
while they're setting up their turns, I'm going to step away for just a minute. Right uh, sure. I was just thinking you're going to give me a chance to, to fire my guns before his horse run over them, right? Well, the only reason I was doing this because I'm about to use a whole lose also these guys. Okay. All right. So no matter what we do, we're going to lose a unit. I just, I'm just making sure you because, know the consequences of this action. Well, yeah. <laughs> no matter what, there's a consequence. Indeed. Over here, I lose a whole group here, or you lose, or cannon and possibly these guys. But is there a haste possibly. square in this one? Nope. Uh, what's the um? What's the difference between what's the penalty for being in mass? Is it the same as? No, it's that. That's far from your biggest problem. You're in poor formation, which is a minus four. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, whether the there was a huge difference between uh, square mass and line, or is it just it, square against, and everything else? Against cavalry, mind you. Mm -hmm. Against mm -hmm. cavalry, you're in poor formation. Okay, so there's there's no difference whether they were in line or if they were in mass. Nope. nope. Where is the only thing that matters? Hey, enjoy the game. All right. Cool. You know what? We'll do volley mm -hmm. fire instead. You're, you're do volley fire? All right. Well, we'll, go well, left or, we'll go left to right then. Two, right. For, two um, for five. I'm going to start spawning his ass. <laughs> uh, there's no way I want. Did I not? Oh, I didn't keep one. So that was one. And yep. now this one is over here for five. One for five. Oh, he's shaking, so that's one for six. Yep. And this is over here, one for five. Yes. All right. <clears throat> over the river. Yes, this, this yeah, one. One for five. Two for five. Yeah. Is that actually? Yeah, this is actually one for five here and one for five there. All right. Um. Is oh volley fire is one for is five? Okay. No, it's. I'm sorry. This should. This one should have been a four. This was not shaken. Right. Yes. Yeah, well, doesn't matter. They didn't hit anyway. Yeah. So this but is two these for, two. Yeah. One for well, four. One and one. Yeah. One for four. And one for four. Yep. Now, something a little different. Eight for four. Five. Yep. Just want to confirm it. Yep. Eight for four. Five. Should be eleven total. Yep. Over here. No, this one reminds me of oh, what was that game? Red was my partner on that one, and the cannons kept going, and they kept freaking surviving. Oh, that was Lahai Sant. Yeah. Was, that was that was Lahai Sant, where those Nessers kept surviving. Uh, yeah, that's in range. That uh, for you, Achilles is two for that's four. And this is, I imagine, in canister range. It is. Uh, that is four, eight, eight for four. Right there. Three. Ugh, only three. Do the uh, guys from the garrison get to shoot? The, yeah, they do if they're in range. Guys, you got an angle. He doesn't have an angle, but this guy does. One for uh, one for four. Uh, 
I know why you're not rolling, right? You're using red. You're using British colors. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, we'll go I back like... over here to the left. Big volley. Uh, I like the red. <laughs> on tw the 28th foot, one for four. Yes. And here, this is one for four. Yes. Those guys are playing the devil's own game. All right, here's the one. <laughs> 11 for four. 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 That's what I thought. Here, five for five. Two. Two. Nicked them up. Yeah, they've been hit before. Mm -hmm. so. They were hit by those guns. Yep. <clears throat> so they got hit coming in twice. All right. A lot of shooting. First actual dead. Mike, back to you. Is Mike even back yet? All right. There he is. Well, there he is. There he is. <laughs> we'll do some charging over here with the horse. Sure. <laughs> wow. I'm so surprised. I am. <laughs> really? That okay, Jim? Or yes, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> yep. And these guys don't move because they're not part of the charge, right? No, they they're okay. still ordered. This just just they're, move. they're still ordered, okay. Yep. But they're outside the eight inches. Exactly. So, so they got to move. Well, but they're they got to be. Yeah, they got three point six inches. They can move. All right. The guy in back a little further. Yeah. I can just keep it there so you know, Mike. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it was 3.6, though, all together. Right. 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 There we go. And this guy will have enough movement, I think, to. No, he won't be able to get up the side of him, but. Oh, I think he will. Oh, yeah. Two inches more. Six, he can go to six. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, that's them. Uh, which me lady one first? Now let's take the guns first. All right, the guns have a choice to withdraw to retire from the board. You want to try? Uh, mm -hmm. at least. What that does is they suddenly become available later in the reinforcement phase. They actually come on kind of the way we were doing reinforcements before. Huh? Um, if you want to try to withdraw them, they uh, let's put it this way: they're going to have a bad time in melee. No kidding. <laughs> the uh, but it's also and there is no cost to withdrawing. It's not like if you fail, something bad happens. The only bad thing that happens if you do is that they actually have to fight. Yeah. Okay. Well, then that does make sense. So let's try it. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do here? So he's attacking with cavalry. So he gets to roll two dice. You are do not have horse. That isn't horse artillery, is it? No. 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 Okay. So uh, Mike gets to roll two dice. You're going to get to roll one. Whoever gets the highest single die determines it. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, I so get Mike, dice, you get to roll said. two dice. Well, you should be able to beat a two, but... <laughs> uh, can you not see my rolling? And tonight? he does. So that, that <laughs> unit has to stand. Uh, it's, okay. It's uh, strength is a two versus a six. So it is a six to two. Plus six. It's a 1d6 plus six, 1d6 plus two. Yeah, that's not good. Six. <laughs> nine. To a nine. Uh, nine to six, three. That's a wipeout. 
unit up unit breaks uh defending cap no 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 defending cab no, no 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 longer engaged cab takes a disruption automatically good kill and now these boys um it breaks anyway i want to be clear because i think anytime you're beaten Anytime artillery is outscored. Because I forgot there was supposed... I should have given a minus one to the cavalry because that is uphill. <clears throat> or a plus one to the defender, however you want to put it. Yeah, yeah. Let me just take a look. So what was the score by? Three or more? It, no, it, it, two. Was, it was exactly three. It would be, it, It's actually two... Um, right, would be two. Uh, but one disruption, cab staggered. No, no. I mean, it's it's two or more. Hang on a second. I gotta. What happens? Yeah. The cavalry wins by two. I think. I think you're Result. right. I think the artillery goes away. So. Yeah. If the attack is greater by three or more, now if the defending was outscored by one or two, it takes disruption. That might break it. Yeah, it's only, it's, it takes, it, how much disruption does it take? One. Yeah, it only takes one disruption, and st it takes one disruption. Where's that gun? Is that it here? Yeah. Which does stagger it. And is that the only consequence? Yep. Unless it's calf. Uh, to, yeah, one disruption, calf staggers, so... He actually does still have to take his one hit, and he staggers off. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm rather stunned by that result. I, I'm not, because he's charging uphill. That's the, the whole difference. And he also didn't beat you by much. He only beat you by... Hey, Jim. Yeah. Aren't these guys staggered? Or whatever. Their oh, strength yeah, is down to two. They, oh, yeah, yep. they are. They are. Yeah, they are. They are. Can you charge if you're? I no. I don't think you can. That happened very recently. Yeah, that was just that last round when I shot at him. These guys are in range, though. No, they yeah, weren't. Yeah, but you can't char no, can you weren't. charge through? They, they, you can they, charge they were through. Not you in... can charge through if you can see. And but, a but, unit block, so. But they weren't in range to begin with. Oh, that's right. That's... All right, so then they uh... can a unit that is staggered charge? That's not staggered; it's shaken. Oh, shaken! I'm sorry. I didn't no, say I, I. The marker is wrong for that matter. Shaken. There it is. Can charge. Okay, I know. I was just asking. No, yep. yep. it's not. That's the wrong shift. You want to look over here, and it's not even one of them. Oh wow! There's no penalty for being shaken. Mm -mm. No, that has always tripped me up. That's weird. I always feel this weird. Be. But yeah. the argument is, the argument is, he's going to be rolling a plus two instead of a plus six. Oh yeah, six. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know now. He's going to be rolling a plus two. He's going to be rolling a one because this is that same terrain problem. He's charging uphill. Right. So he's a plus one. You are, I think, a zero. Yeah, yeah what do you mean? No, you're a two. Yeah. It's, this is a one. Yeah. This is a two. <laughs> it's still going to be real close. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, insanely close. So it's a plus one to a plus two. I got a net six. Six, yeah. Ah. Uh, plus one to a plus two, four. So... Six to two. four. So that is the infantry losing by two. The infantry loses one, takes a disruption, and in this instance, the cavalry takes a disruption and staggers. It's already done that. So this, however, is a disruption. 
and again, Mike missed it by one point. Mm-hmm. All right. That's how it goes. French. Boy, I thought that was going to be a All lot right. worse. Now I'm going to spend <laughs> Well, had, had, you, had you not given these guys a face full of canister, it would have been. Yeah, exactly. All right. That was only one mode. Thank you, Ron. Uh, one, no, one, that's two, it's uh, two mode. Is that two? Yeah, it's two okay. modice because melee is a complication. Gotcha. Thank you. <clears throat> Jim, I spent the mo. Okay. Uh, and actually, Mike, it's three because you're staggered. And staggering, being staggered is a complication. Uh, oh, no. Only when changing formation. I take it back. So you're fine. Okay. Just two. All right. What you doing there, Ron? Move it. Spent two because of difficult terrain, but they have a tie column, so I don't have to spend for the Correct. difficulty chart. They are shaking. Uh, not stirred. Doesn't matter, of course. It's fine. <laughs> Next. I thought the charge, though, eliminated the skirmish. I got to look up what skirmishers do in charges. I, I was thinking that from the last time we played, but. I could. Be I, I I am actually going to have to. I am going to have. Oh, you kept running from me because you had skirmish because it did something to you. Yeah, it's. Hang on a second. Well, movement's one thing, but you're charging into your own skirmishers. Mm -hmm. I thought there was a. I might get rid of them, and, and they're very confused. <laughs> what? I take it infantry cannot charge cavalry, though, in this game. It's that way in most of them. So. Most of them no, can't. You, you can do it. You're just going to get that incredibly bad modifier. Oh, I see. Okay. No, it only affects units when they act and they last through the order phase no matter what so because okay. it, it, it has no effect here but you do you do keep them it will not affect the combat but you do keep them okie dokie yeah you got persistent scurbies <laughs> i guess so um <coughs> all right so that's that that's that that's that uh, we look down here, and this is going to be a... I'm assuming this is the one we've got. This melee. Yeah, this, this, this melee, yeah. yeah. So that's two plus six, eight. Eight to three. However, there is out number. So it's nine to three. Actually, no, no. It's two different roles, isn't it? Because we got to determine what happens to each one of these. So this is like ends no. up being a th no, no, no. oh, uh -uh. oh it's really? one die roll and you outnumber. That's oh okay. All. So he, Mike just got a nine. So you've got a nine. So you had one d six plus nine. Ooh, man. Well, there it was. Fifteen to nine. That's a kill. And one of those boys gets a huzzah. Now, the infantry don't get a disruption, right? No. Uh, they may. I th is this the one where if it's even? Uh, no longer engaged. Well, it wasn't yes. even. It, Mike, yeah. If he had rolled odd, he would have taken a disruption. Oh, I see what you're saying. And he now has a huzzah. Do you wish to... So he would not take a disruption. So who gets it? Who are you giving it? To? Oh, no, you don't. You do not get a huzzah because more than one unit was responsible. I don't want the Opal Chain anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's, you are solely, you have to be solely responsible. Oh, I'm solely responsible, all right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Back, back to, Mike. to Mike. All right. We'll do a volley fire. Oh, okay. Didn't you already? No. No, he has not. Not this turn. Okay. We start here. Gotta get my markers. I gotta get my markers. 
Yeah, don't forget you have a scare me on these guys. So yep. So it's a downshift. That's where that's where it's going to cost him. Um, <clears throat> so we'll start with this guy out front. That is uh, one for five. Got it. And that's another one for five off the side. Missed. That cannon. Um. Ouch. Is ouch. <laughs> that cannon is six for four. Where Ron, I can't hit it. Two. Oh, you hit it. There. Nothing there. Nothing there. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what sticks. One for four. Nope. And two for four. Oh, one is stuck. Mm -mm -mm. Back you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Did I kill him? Mm -mm. Yeah. Holy mackerel. It would have uh, if you'd rolled odd. Yeah, well, the guy I did roll odd. Um, what do you need? Uh... Formation change. Okay. Formation change. These boys are going to squirt. <clears throat> they learned their lesson. They think they got yeah. off easy. <laughs> and you can also use that to limber this gun. Should you wish. It's an interesting question. Fair question, and one which in recent weeks has been much on my mind. Are we going to have to have a square intervention again? <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't do that. To... Oh, don't do that. Now you have an intervention. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, the square messes me up. I know. I tell him it's octagon, but he says it's, it's a square. Uh -huh. um, let, me, let me hear your thoughts on this, Ron. If I limber this gun, they could try to run away, right, later. Um... Or I leave them there and let I them leave them there and blast them in the face if we win the mission. Right yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay. Yep. We'll leave them there. We'll sacrifice a gun. Yeah. All right. That was your formation change in the face of the enemy. So over to Mike. We'll do a bombardment. All right. I think this gun still got a shot here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just go straight ahead here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll do this one first, I guess. Okay. That's uh, four for four right there. Oh, four for four. Three. Four for six. This is uh, four for five. One. Start with that one. One for four. Hit. Stuck it. Ooh, that guy's nicked up. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Yep. And this is Once earlier. three for four. Oh. Call three. Ping, ping, ping. Which will shake it. Still yours, Mike. All right. We'll do some movements. Oh. 
Ron, give me eight inches, or somebody give me eight inches off the corner unit there. That's good enough. I don't even know what prompted that question, Tommy. I do not. All right. Did you want you wanted to be outside eight inches, right? With this? Yeah. Yeah. I was going up to the river, so that's why I wasn't worried too much about a measurement because I knew it wasn't going to be coming up to the river and going. Actually, Gordon's guy should be up to the river. Stop it. <laughs> Again with the fish joke. No touch to fish. No touchy fish. All right. That's. Ron, is that back over? It Ron looks so or... cool with the fire. <laughs> yeah. No, it's um. I don't think you moved anybody in range of the enemy. So I no, you didn't. Still... Yeah, you didn't move into eight inches, so right? Still... Uh, nope. 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 Are they? Still, you might. Okay. Formation change. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, back over to Ron. So that's a pass. Oh, you're done. That's a pass. Yeah, pass. Yes. All right. And my last one. Use it for a rally. Uh. To kill. Where? Who do you want to rally? This guy here. Um. Olard. Yes. So it's the whole brigade, right? Yeah. It's everybody Olard. Okay. All right, we'll start. We'll start with the second battalion, fifty first. All right, that's uh, ooh, ow. Uh, so it's actually five. So it's three. And are they in three. eight inch range? No, they're not. So it is three for three. Got them all. Nice. Good round. Mm. Good use. We come back here to the uh, the nineteenth line. They got nothing. How about these boys in town? Yep, they do. They got uh, one, one for three. Oh no, they got guys right there. One for four. No, that's permanent. Oh, very unfortunate. What about the uh, first battalion? I think they. Have they just lost one. Mm -hmm. It's also one for four. Also permanent. And the guns, they can't rally here. Can yeah, they, they can. Yeah, they can oh. rally. Try to get it back. One for three. Here for four, four. Got it. They do. Okay. That is all. All right, that was all the French points. Mike, you got any left? Yeah, we'll try to uh, rally Somerset. So we'll try with the second lifeguard. That's a bunch. Uh, five. That is five for fours. Two. That will First. unshake them. Hang on a second. All right. Uh, did these guys have oh. some? Yeah, they did. They yeah. rallied. They rallied it. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be it for us. All right. Well, that's it. Awesome. So now it'll be turn five when next we gather ourselves. So I hope... It is my sincere hope that as people watch games like this, they get a sense of how LaSalle plays. Obviously, we still look in the rules occasionally, try to make sure we get it right. I can't say we always do, but I think we're getting there. Um, and see what it does well, 
I think it does a lot of things very, very well. And I know there are some things that really appeal to people. You heard Achilles say it, the ease of movement, the smoothness of movement, um, things like that. I also think the combat system is very elegant. It's very simple. It's easy to remember, but it gives reasonable results. Um, there, there are things I'm still wrapping my head around, but that's okay. So a, a lot of give and take. The only problem is uh, for the British, let's see here. This is Kempt. That's Kempt. What is left that's Kempt here? Is that the last one? Yeah. Yeah, this is, the, uh, there are three brigades. So if this, if this goes, it's uh, game over for our friends, the British. It's also a uh, bad shape because right now you'd have to say they control all three, uh, two of the three victory locations. So there's going to be a big, big fight for this sucker down here, and we'll we'll see what comes up. Also, there's some good horse still lurking back there, so we'll see what our uh, our buddies, the uh, the British, are able to do. So, what do we got coming up this Saturday? Saturday Night Fights. We're going to go back to Connie. We saw some incredibly bad die rolls by the uh, Carthaginians. We think that the Romans got away with one. And we want to give the uh, Carthaginians a rematch, essentially. Besides, it's a big battle, lots of toys, and when it plays quickly, what better to recommend it than that? Um, Wednesday, hopefully, we'll be getting back together to continue. Now, is it uh, you... Mike, are you out on Wednesday this coming? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we'll have to figure something else out to play Wednesday and Thursday because, well, we can't possibly have the Thursday night throwdown without Mike, even if we get CT. Oh, my gosh. Whatever will we do? Well, we'll figure something out is what we'll do. Uh, thanks for coming. Who knows? Maybe we'll play some Blood Bowl. We could do that. Because <laughs> we do have the Emperor's Third Hat Blood Bowl tournament going on. Uh, Velker and, and David Pumphouse splitting a brutal fixture, nil one. Still a good game. But uh, anyway, so lots of stuff coming up. Lots of stuff to watch. Definitely appreciate those who play, those who watch. Um, oh, the effects of the skirmies. An embarrassing rash. Absolutely, Tommy. Like I say, thanks for coming around. Thanks for playing. Until we see each other again, please take care of yourselves and one another. We'll talk soon.